about this. Big lies. So this has been someone who got on Twitter and was like, you know what? I'm just going to be honest about it. I have made some pretty big <laughs> whopping lies in my life, and they have been totally for personal gain. <laughs> and, they, and I faked a knee injury to the point where I was like, no, it hurts so bad. I've got to go to the hospital. My mom took me to the hospital. We got x-rays. They were like, her knee is it's fine. <laughs> it's because I was like having one of those periods of time where I like just really needed extra attention. Okay, I guess, next, I guess I'm going yes, next. Yes. Okay, so um, I actually feel kind of bad because I was a little bit older than you were, Rosie. So I, you know, once again, don't have an excuse for this. I was in college, <laughs> having a very good time in college, and um, I was just kind of falling behind on all my schoolwork. And um, I went to the professor and I said my grandmother died. Oh, yeah. That's awful. It's not the first time they've heard that. Yeah. It's not, but I was so good about it. I was just, you know, huffing and puffing, and, oh, like, yeah. I might have even, like, taken some water and, like, kind of put it to, <laughs> oh like, like, my God. I, like, I was really good. Like, I should have been an actress, honestly. <laughs> honestly, I, I could have been an actress. You yeah, missed your I calling. Think you would have been great. Uh, so did they let you off the hook? Yes, absolutely. Oh, my God, absolutely. that's amazing. Very convincing. <laughs> Sonia, what do you think? Can you right, chime so in? so let me, let me tell you guys mine, and it's more of a reach than it was, like, an actual lie, but I remember when I first started training professionally after I had given up my last two years of eligibility at UT, mm. I was training down in Waco. But I was still in school at UT, so I literally was up and down the I-35 like two or three times a week to go to class or to go to practice. So one of the days I'm speeding, and I get pulled over by a cop, right? And it was after the 2004 Olympics. It must have been like five or six months after the Olympics. And I'm like, oh my god, I can't get a ticket. So I'm like, I just came back from the Olympics. And oh, that's a good Follow your bliss, and the universe will open doors where there were only walls. And I love this because it's a great it, quote. I love this quote so much. It just, you know, makes me think about, you know, not being so afraid of uncertainty, not being so afraid to kind of go after what I want. And then, you know, if I follow the things that make me happy. Mm -hmm. Um, good things will happen because I remember searching for jobs similar to this and I remember it came up and I was like I'm not gonna apply I'm not you know what I mean because I was in my own rut you know and then I said you know what I'm gonna just apply and then literally 10 days later but I, I can't watch been. it because an ex ruined it for me and so then it got us talking about things that are good possibly even great uh, but that an ex has somehow ruined for you yes. so you've got a couple of these yes and uh, I just want to preface it with this we are getting into 20 19 we have to let go some of the things from our past fair Don't point fair so point. I am taking this and leaving it right here in 2018 <laughs> okay I love it so the first thing my ex ruined for me is a uh, bearded guys with hats because <laughs> He was bald, and he always wore a hat to cover it up. And I love a man in a baseball hat with a nice Austin beard, you know what An I mean? An Austin beard. I haven't heard that before. But I know exactly what you're talking yes. about, which is funny. So, so anytime I look at a guy with a hat and a beard, I just can't anymore. Yeah. I just can't. For me, uh, it was the Red Hot Chili Peppers. At some point, some relationship <laughs> in the past, I was forced to listen to them so much. And I'll give you, they're a good band. Yes. Huge longevity. They've been doing, you know, doing their thing for years, but like... I just can't. <laughs> it's all their songs. All their songs. J Lo is going on the record. Yeah. And she's saying, hey, I'm really glad that I didn't meet this guy who is a total stud muffin and I'm in love with him now. I'm glad I didn't meet him earlier in life. It's uh, earlier in life, and that's A Rod. Yeah, I think that, you know, when you look back at her, you know, previous three marriages and just kind of her. She's had three marriages. She has, she has two children. Yep. He has two children. Yep. It is a yours, mine, kind of ours situation. Yeah, so um, she said that if she had met him earlier on, you know, they probably wouldn't have connected. Actually, A-Rod said that. He said, you know, they were in such different points in their life back in the day that it just wouldn't have worked because they were on, you know, such a, you know, just completely different path from one another. And right. so this pressure, you know, especially with like 2019, like I'm going to get married, I'm going to find the love of my life. Like, you know, maybe it's not your time. Maybe you need more time. So there's no, there's no pressure to be had. Right, uh, so JLo is, is 49 years old. And so she's gotten together with A-Rod in the last couple of years. Yep. Um, but she really did say like, we had big growth to do separately. Yes. And that had we met earlier on in life, it just wouldn't have been the right time. I mean, I don't know if anybody remembers this, but 
Do you remember this coming up that like they were he was looking through his belongings a couple of months ago and, and he found like a signed poster from J Lo? Yeah. But this was before he had like really, really made it big and so he just totally idolized yeah. her. But like now his celebrity has grown. She has had time to work on things, being independent, uh, feeling like she has her own self worth, uh, which is what she specifically mentioned, and she said now is the time, and I'm so happy about it. So I think that that's a really positive, optimistic thing to see today. Yeah, and I think it also goes to show, uh, kind of with that quote, you know, like the timing's just not right. You know what I mean? Like maybe the timing just isn't right, and maybe, you know, we just kind of got to let the universe play its course and just, mm -hmm. you know, when it's meant to happen, it'll happen.